So good afternoon. So as you can see, I'm surrounded by a nice lawn until you get to my house. Big difference. So today I want to talk about how much water I use on a monthly basis. Well, actually on a daily basis, just to water my trees. I've got close to where well, I've got a little over 200 trees. Um, and these are tropical fruit trees. They need a lot of water. So if you come here, actually, compare the neighbor's lawn, nice flush lawn, to my, you know, trees, tropical fruit trees of all things. I would venture to say that they take about the same amount of water, if not more. And this is literally feeding me. These tropical fruit trees are like literally feeding me. So, quick and simple answer. I did the calculation. To grow all these in the hot summer months, we're talking July, August, September or so, if you come here, in order to get all of these to grow and be as successful as they are here, ice cream bean tree, this guy is smack native to like smack right in the middle of Amazon rainforest. Would range there every hour practically. Coriante mango. Look. All right. Manila mango, Philippines. Look, check it out. In, in order to get all these fruits to go here, okay, how much water would you say I, I'm using on a daily basis? So here's the number. Front yard, back yard, just for the yard, 710 gallons a day, which is a lot. However, when I had lawn back in old days, I was using about the same amount of water to water the lawn, keeping up with the Joneses. So, yeah, like, check it out. I mean, this whole setup here with trees and fruits loaded on each tree practically. If you come here, there is like a lot more. I mean, in order to feed all these tropical fruit trees or hydrate them, that is, requires a lot of water, but again, 710 gallons a day. Sounds like it's a lot, but that's really on par with my neighbors. <laughs> and again, these are literally feeding me. And the best part of it is once these tropical fruit trees are established, they are actually, majority of them are drought resistant. Yeah, I know. You wouldn't associate like the mangoes being drought resistant, but they are. Same with ice cream bean tree. They are drought resistant. Um, there are, of course, certain tropical trees, such as like the papayas, uh, the bananas. Those, they, they, they get stressed when there's not enough water. But besides that, just about everything else, drought resistant, totally. Yeah, like, check it out. Actually, speaking of which, look, my water's on. It's running right now. And, and that's what's keeping all these trees alive or keeping them hydrated, that is. Yeah, uh, it stopped. So look, check it out. I mean, look, like, look at how, how damp it is. And again, the 710 gallons is just for the hot summer months. I do make adjustments to my watering schedule 
depending on the temperature. So as it cools down, of course, I'm going to lower the, um, the water usage. Uh, as it gets to the 115 days, yeah, I'm going to increase it by, a, you know, a little bit. Uh, but that is really what's needed in order to grow all these tropical fruit trees here. The store fruits finally setting some fruits there. Um, it's just been so crazy hot this year that uh, some of these store fruits are delayed a bit, but that's fine. I'd much rather have them just delayed and just to, you know, stress out. So, yeah, again, just, <laughs> I know it sounds insane, but when I had a nice lawn, I was using about the same amount of water, if not more, than what, uh, what I'm using now to water all these tropical fruit trees. Granted, it helps too in my situation that I'm surrounded by folks who have nice lawn. Because as you come here, even though this is the perimeter of my yard, the trees don't care. Trees do not recognize borders. Guess what? The roots underneath the tree will grab water wherever it can find. So it's a win-win. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's take you to the back. The backyard, of course, obviously, because there's more trees back here. Uh, I, I've got it on a different watering schedule. <clears throat> so 710 gallons per day. That uh, is, again, just for watering the trees. That, that's separate from my household usage. We're talking laundry, sink, etc. Last month, one of the hottest months on record, I used close up to like 30,000 gallons or so, I think, which sounds like it's a lot. Yes, which it is a lot. But again, <laughs> It's a lot of it is just for the tree. I, I would say about one third of my water usage goes to the trees, which I'm okay with. On the bright side, because of my solar panels, my electricity company owes me $23. I mean, it's 2024, but pe there are people out there that still pay for electricity. And I've got my AC on basically 24 7. So, the next topic is how often sh do you should I do I water the trees? Uh, let me answer that with a question. How often do you drink water when you're thirsty? I mean, do you like this is my uh, you know water? This is what I drink from a tap water, just filtered tap water. I, I just like it because it, it eliminates the, the taste, the odor. Uh, it makes it nice. <laughs> so again, the question is, I mean, in my case, in your case as well, you should be drinking it whenever you're thirsty. And, you know, we're all different. I mean, if you exercise a lot, yeah, you're going to drink a lot of water. If you're more or less just chilling at home, you're probably okay with, you know, less water. Um, but... To answer the question for the trees, in my situation, I water them every hour. The reason for that is I'm trying to mimic its natural setting, the rainforest. You don't realize it, but it rains there a lot. It rains there a lot, but in short bursts. I mean, when we were in uh, Maui, the, down in the Dahana region, um, I mean, it, it rained there like practically every half an hour in short bursts. Same with Southeast Asia, when we were in Laos in November, the dry season, it rained there a lot, but in short bursts. So that's what I'm trying to mimic uh, to the trees. and. The tropical fruit trees, they respond so much better uh, to more frequent watering 
but in short durations. So yeah, I mean, just like you and I, okay? Whoops. Just like you and I, we drink water throughout the day. I mean, I would not drink this all in one sitting. So the same concept applies to the trees, really. So now, you got to bear in mind, okay, the Amazon rainforest, you don't really, you can't, it's hard to visualize, but it rains there 10 feet every year, 10 feet of rainwater. That is, look at that, that's how much it rains. This is 10 feet worth of rain every year there. I mean, it, it's basically a, 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 the height of this papaya, okay? And in the Central Valley, basically Central California and, and down towards the Southern California, uh, you know, you'd be lucky if you get 11 inches of rain. This is how much it rains here in my city. So, yeah, I mean, these guys expect a lot of water. I mean, otherwise, they're not gonna, they're not gonna drive, especially in the Central Valley's dry heat. Evaporation just comes so quick. It, it's great for you and I when we sweat. I mean, again, you know, that's how we keep cool. Uh, but the trees, they, 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 these guys originate from a, uh, an area of the world where humidity is much preferred. Uh, otherwise, you know, you, you, you get, burnt like this, uh, especially when it's like 115 degrees. So my setup, very simple. Tropical fruit trees, they prefer consistency. There's not a whole lot I can do about um, the temperature. I, I can't control the the summer days. I can't control the frosty winter days. But the thing that I can control is water. So all of my yard, uh, front and back, um, I've got it set up in, in these uh, automated watering system. If you come here, actually, this is my setup. <clears throat> so my faucet comes out of here. I've got it on a, uh, a Bluetooth-based uh, water timer connected to these hose, and then out of the main hose, okay, I've got these little smaller, um, I don't know what you call them, but the little uh, lines that get attached to the hose. And from there, depending on, on what it is, um, they then get uh, sent to the sprinkler systems, and it comes on again every hour. In my backyard, I right now because it is warmer, I've got it set for four minutes uh, per watering session. So yeah, no, this is what it looks like. So just imagine that's all automated. Yeah, it just water just kicks on. It just sprays the area for you know like four minutes. Uh, in uh, in the case of trees, if you come here, this is what it looks like. Now each tree, I've got it set up where there is a bubbler system. Look, yeah, nearby the uh, drip zone of each tree, there exists a little bubbler system. So essentially what you see there is it watering every single hour uh, for, you know, four times, uh, uh, four, four minutes per water se uh, session. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's, uh, it's a, it's a pain in the butt to set it up in the very beginning, but in my opinion, I mean, it's just a one-time deal. And from there, it's all automated. I mean, yeah, like, like, like the chickens, okay? Check it out. They're, they're happy here. They, they, they help to take care of the pests. And look at that. Free fertilizer. <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, it, it's just a good feeling to, you know, rescue chickens. But yeah, going back to water, okay. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, these guys do need a lot of water. Um, now, I know, it, now in, in my city, uh, and probably the bulk of the Central Valley, we get our water from the, uh, the, the water table, the aquifer. Um, in, in your situation, of course, it might be from a well, it might be from a different source. But specific to, to my area, uh, there are yearly water reports that you can get from your water service company. And the neat thing about these water reports is it will kind of give you a ballpark uh, rating of your water quality. Uh, where I'm going with this is in my city, the water is almost perfect for tropical fruit trees, especially mangoes. The problem with some water is, municipal water is salt. Mangoes especially do not like salty water. I mean, according to my water report, quality report, salt is almost non-existent. So it's perfect for the tropical fruit trees. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are, you know, some chemicals that they add, which makes it drinkable, which is not great for the, uh, microorganisms, but you know what? These trees, uh, uh over a period of time, uh, have no problem with, with the water and, and the microorganisms just because they, they eventually, I, I don't want to say they adapt, but they, they outnumber the, the, the chemical that's in the water. Uh, in, in that it, it might harm them a bit, but they, they reproduce so quick where it becomes a non-issue. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if you can, I would recommend you set your watering system on a, an automated uh, uh, method where it's hands off. You don't even have to touch it. Uh, yeah, these guys, again, uh, black sapote, they originate from a climate where they need consistency uh, and water is one piece of the puzzle that you can definitely, definitely um, control. So yeah, it, it, it's, I'm, I'm, I admittedly, I mean, admittedly, I am using a lot of water. However, uh, I mean, the trees are really serving me a purpose. Um, and you know what? I imagine if everyone's got trees in their yard, like the amount of trees that I have here, the, the, the humidity that's uh, produced uh, and the, the, the cooling effect of the whole neighborhood. And overall, the more trees you have, the less water it would use. I, I say that just because look at how close the trees are. I mean, I, I'm not having to water it a lot because I know the roots of nearby trees are all connected and there's water spots every single where, every, everywhere basically. So yeah, uh, that, that's really the gist of watering, just short bursts, very, very frequent. The more, the better. Um, just be mindful of your water quality, especially with some of the more sensitive stuff like the mangoes again. Uh, but beyond that, yeah, just, just, you're just going to have to keep watering your trees. So, all right, have a good afternoon.